Good morning, everybody. How are you today? 26th of March 2020, you are watching Fiona Cashwell, aka Cybergram. I hope um, everything is good in your world. Um, I have been taking part in so many video calls, uh, more than ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get a wee bit of a sore throat, but it's all great helping and supporting as many people as I possibly can, whilst also trying to um, plan some education for you um, to support you in your businesses. So do please, as you pop on, uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know who I've got here this morning. And I'm um, going to go through a little bit of Cybergrand um, housework and some plans before I jump into the topic of the day, which is LinkedIn. And if you can see the original description of the video, it was my least favorite platform. Um, it wasn't really me um, because it is for professionals it's more corporate it's that kind of businessy world whereas those of uh, i'm not saying that my cyber heroes are not businessy sorry that didn't necessarily come out very well but each platform is different it has a different tone and it's suitable for different tribes now when i started doing uh, training for everybody it was related to Facebook so therefore Facebook became my anchor platform and it wasn't something that I felt hanging out on LinkedIn was going to be of any particular benefit for me but there are lots of functions on there now many more than they used to be it's becoming a lot more user friendly so what i'm going to do today i'm not going to be talking about connecting as such in this video and social selling i'm going to be showing you the mechanics of linkedin um, i can start to show you examples of some really good um, engineering so when i talk about mechanics i'm talking about the what to press when to press the bells and whistles the engineering are the things and the words that you can say and do to help people understand what you do, why they should pick you. Okay, so who do we have on board this morning? I can see six people, two thumbs up. Don't forget, I have like a 20 second delay on who you are. Now, tomorrow, okay, is ask me anything. There's no specific theme. Right. And that would be asking me anything on social media skills and support and questions, what to do, where to go and how to do it. OK, um, if you have your question ready and pop it in while we're live, I will answer as many as I can. Um, in the time that we have. The boot camps next week. Now I've posted a note on my Facebook page. So I'll just show you that before I jump in to LinkedIn. So over here, I have a note. If you haven't come across me before <laughs> and you want to know what this boot camp stuff is that I'm talking about, come along here and, and read this description. So over on my Facebook page, um, look for the tab here called notes coming here and it'll give you an overview of what my boot camps are. So I said at the beginning of the week, basically they are distance learning for grown-ups. And it's the next boot camp is about the rule of three, which is a way of planning your content really simply and effectively. And trust me, after doing it for just a few days, you will have so many light bulb moments that it will make moving forward with your social media content so much easier all right so take a look at that and uh morning sheila and if you want to sign up for the beat camps um all the details are in that note you'll also see that they are on other places on my facebook page and also on my website so if you go to fionacatchpole.com forward slash shop you will see the two boot camps for next week now I'm going to also try and continue to do some free tutorials, but obviously they won't be at the 930 slot. They'll be at another time. So if you have a burning topic, <laughs> not a medical problem, um, that you'd like 
to know more about, what would you like from here on in while you are all focusing your minds to distract yourself from the uh, unpleasantries going on at the moment? If you have a business, you need to be looking at how you can repurpose what you're doing and adapt. If your social media skills have been lacking, now is the perfect time to polish up and do some serious kind of um, techie, you know, tweaking on, you know, getting your computer sorted on your folders, you know, have a folder to do with Facebook, have one to do with Twitter, start looking at all of these platforms and uh, start tuning into some of the free tutorials. So if you have particular topics, I'll try next week to adapt it to what you actually want. I'm also looking at, if people think it would be of support, to create separate groups for each individual platform. So, or maybe a collective group that you could go in and ask questions. And I'll get some of my techie pals to come in and support me, because I know lots of you are sending me um, asking how to do certain things, and I can only answer so many questions in a day. Uh, My, my clients who are working with me, uh, yeah, I'm good, thank you, Hazel, who are working with me on a one-to-one, -one, which is also possible. Um, so send me a message if that's something you think you'd like to do. But I can only answer so many questions in one day, so I thought I might try and look at a team effort. Okay, so hands up if you are on LinkedIn and what it is that causes you the most strife with regards to LinkedIn. I'm just gonna swap over to the LinkedIn screen and you can have a think about that question and tell me what you need to know. So this is my LinkedIn, okay? Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take my face off the screen for a moment so that it's a lot bigger because there's a lot going on on the LinkedIn screen and I want you to be able to see it um, more so than my face, okay? So there you can see, this is what um, the home screen now looks like when you log into LinkedIn. If you haven't been there for a while, take this opportunity now to spend a little bit of time and having a look around. What you'll see in the middle is the LinkedIn newsfeed. So it's very similar to Facebook and Twitter in that respect. So there's the channel in the middle that has all the information that you want to see the people that you're connected to and the pages that you're following. And there are also groups inside LinkedIn as well. So you'll start to hear some very similar terminology. So those of you that have been using Facebook for a while will actually find no problem now with looking at the LinkedIn initial kind of dashboard. All right. You'll also see on um, the posting area here, um, you can share your thoughts. All right. You can set the uh, exposure to it very much like on um, Facebook. So anyone that you're connected to or you can have specific people that you're connected to. Right. What do you want to talk about? Hashtags. We talked a little bit about hashtags. Um, they work in a very similar way on uh, LinkedIn as they do on Twitter. OK. And on Instagram. But it's the numbers that you use here on LinkedIn. You want to go for no more than about three. OK, you can add an image, video or a document. All right. And once you start to type, you'll see that that will go blue and you can post when you've finished your post. If you're going to use a hashtag, the uh, popular ones that you've been using will already come up underneath here. These are my top three. OK, as you can see. And obviously, they're relevant to the topic that you're posting about. All right, so that's how to create a post there. You'll also notice here top and most recent. OK, so this is something you will have noticed during the course of the last few days that in order to show you, you know, there's not enough time in the day for you to see everything. So all of the platforms curate your content to what they consider is top for you. So it is very much based on your own activity as well and the things that you do away from the platform when you're logged in. Um, so we'll always have a look at flipping it over to recent so you can see everything in chronological order. How are we doing there, people? Any questions? Not so many people on today because I knew when I was talking about LinkedIn <laughs> that it wasn't going to be very exciting. 
but it's actually a very good platform. Yep, you heard me say that. Okay, so initially on face value, okay, Hazel, catch up with you on the replay. I know she's one of our lovely nurses and they're very, very busy at the moment. So at face value, that looks like really straightforward, isn't it? Okay, so, and it is, and it is. And you can write your comments, you can mention people, you can use your hashtags, and you can add your images and your videos and things like that, okay? So construction, um, the physical mechanics of it are very much the same as Facebook. Now, the engineering in this case, what you're gonna say is going to be slightly different because it's a different presence on the platform is a different kind of vibe. So it may not be for you, depending on the people that you're going to be connected to and the network that you're building for your product or service, okay? The one area that is a little bit more complicated is your profile. So I'm gonna show screen share that with you now over on my profile. So obviously you're looking at it um, in the same way that you would with um, the actual, all the control showing and things like that, okay? So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on that and then I'm gonna start talking about um, pages that you can use on LinkedIn and how beneficial that they can be as well. So let's just pop the screen share back on. Okay, so if you've got any questions, do let me know. So how do you get over to your profile? Well, you can come over here and anywhere you kind of see your name, or if you go on the drop down menu here, you can click on there. So your profile is the area that you're going to actually put all of the things about yourself in place because people can come along and have a look at your profile. All right. And they will do this to see if you're going to be a good fit, if um, you actually you, you might have commented on something on their post. So you can come along and have a look and go, OK, so what's your area of expertise? Um, can we connect? Is there something that we can do together? Do I want to go work for you? Do you want to come work for me? So it's the kind of more professional capacity that you're you're looking for. But as with all of the platforms, you need to fill in all the bits and pieces, all right? So this week, if you do nothing else on all of your platforms, make sure you fill in your profiles, your bios, and have it completely fresh, clean, and good to go, all right? Now, on a LinkedIn platform, you can um, have a Facebook page, which is this mine, this is mine here. So it can show as your like place of work and you can have your education showing as well. All right. Uh, so your least uh, your least academic um, study location. All right. You have a, sh a very small window of opportunity here to say uh, what you do. All right. Because if you notice, it's this first description when you're looking at other people that shows up okay so you have just a few characters to attract somebody's attention and think okay I'm going to click on your name to find out more about you and it's this bit here okay so you can click on this pencil to edit and it basically talks you through okay this one is the about section now very much like with your Facebook it needs to be kind of quite on point but on this time you're going to reword it because this isn't your soft and fluffy location this is your i mean it to win the kind of more location so a very succinct um professional description about what you do and who for you can then come down i have the new section called featured there's actually a video on uh, my video library on facebook explaining how to use this in more detail and then you can come down. This is um, your own record of what you've been up to, all right, on LinkedIn, but actually other people can see this as well. So everybody can see what you've been doing on LinkedIn. All right, so just bear that in mind, okay? So your activity is recorded and this is all on public view, all right? You can then here put your work experience, your training, and you can just continue to scroll down and scroll down. So it's kind of like a collective um, CV and it needs to be updated on a regular basis, okay? More so than your Facebook about. Your Twitter profile doesn't really have um, much room and because even when people look at your profile, every tweet you do, every retweet kind of reshuffles. So identifying who you are in the professional capacity, what your area of expertise is, how you interact with other people on the platform, um, 
there's no other platform like it. All right. So you need to think about this could actually be a good place to be if you are offering a service and a product that professionals are going to buy or going to be in need of. Right. So I'm going to flip back over just for a wee bit now to uh, some Facebook, a Facebook announcement that came out that I saw from Mary Smith. If you've got any questions about LinkedIn, pop them in. If you're looking on replay, do please still pop your questions in because obviously you're all deciding that LinkedIn is not very exciting. So just ask me anything and I'll come back later and answer the question. Do please let me know who's watching though. I can see eight of you there and I can only see that Sheila and Hazel have popped their, popped their name in. Or are you all too shy? Okay, don't be shy. And start thinking about what you would like um, me to answer tomorrow and also what you'd like me to do for you next week. Okay, so I'll flip back over to Facebook. Now, I still have what we're going to be calling the old design. Last year, um, it was actually March last year at the um, FA conference for Facebook that they announced there was going to be a complete remodeling of Facebook, but it's actually taken some time to roll out. You may on your mobile have the new layout, which is a little bit whiter and cleaner. Yes, Sheila, if you like LinkedIn, you could well be special and unique. We're not going to say odd. So she's just popped in there. I'm a bit odd then because I like LinkedIn. But I think it depends on the nature of the work and, and the people that you work with. OK, so perhaps um, back in the olden days, um, I can do some. Um, Andrew's posted in there saying, can you offer assistance in creating a LinkedIn profile? Um, I think I could probably create a tutorial. It's not something that could be done on a one on to one. It's something that you can very easily follow from a how to video. So Sarah says she's got LinkedIn, but are you utilizing it in the right way? What kinds of things are you posting on there? So it all goes back to being relevant and meaningful for the people that you're going to be connecting with on LinkedIn, okay? So yeah, Sheila is very special. Now, it may not have been the right environment for perhaps a dog walker, but then again, it could have been because all of the professionals are out at work, right? But previously, that kind of thing would have got gone on on Facebook. You would have been talking about it on Facebook. So it's now the opportunity to really consider what platform could actually be more beneficial for you? Lots and lots of people are working from home. So lots and lots of people that would have been or are, have hung out on LinkedIn because they are working, they're in accountancy positions, um, all sorts of work-based positions, workers, um, and but they are now working from home, okay? So are there services and products that you are now providing that would actually, they may actually have time to have their eyeballs on? So you hanging out on LinkedIn might actually be a good way of repurposing your time, all right? But it's the tone and manner that you're gonna be using relative to also what's going on in the world at the moment, okay? so. Uh, quickly back to Facebook, I'll pop a video in uh, on or try and find a way of create, uh, creating a video on how to create a LinkedIn profile. Um, but actually, if you pop along to LinkedIn.com, they will talk you through the process. Pretty much very similar. You need to have a good profile picture, and which is the small one, and then an image to go along the top. I'll get you the sizes of those. Okay, so we'll pop those in the show notes. Sizes of the pics, because I know that's always a big question, and how to create it. But back to, to Facebook and uh, what's about to happen. They're going to be changing your screen. So I anticipate lots of people waking up sometime soon, <laughs> like we haven't got enough to deal with, that your Facebook is going to change, all right? Now, some of you may already have the opportunity to force the switch, all right? I'm gonna show you where you'll find that. I don't have it currently, but I'd love to know 
if your screen doesn't look like this, okay, could you take a screenshot and show me what it does look like? And the moment it changes, I want to know about it. But if you want to actually force the change, you may have the option to do so already. So from desktop, this uh, drop down menu here, click on there. And I am reliably informed by the queen of Facebook, Mary Smith, that down here, you may have the option to switch, All right? Have a look, see if you got it. If you switch over, I don't know if you can switch back, but you're not gonna have a choice anyway. And um, so realistically, there's lots of things gonna be happening on that screen that I don't know about yet. So we may have to do a whole new set of lessons and videos. So I'm holding off as long as possible um, to wait and see what's gonna be happening before I start to do some more tutorials because all the buttons are gonna move. Well, not all of them, some of them will. And I know that some of you are gonna have a little bit of a panic attack on that, all right? So um, let me just see. I did. <gasps> Sheila's got it. So you're very, very special. Sheila has it. Oh, I think I, yes, I can. I forgot I had that. I forgot I could do that. Right? Sheila's got it. Okay. Sheila, are you going to press the button? What do we think? Should Sheila press the button or not press the button? I want to know what happens. Is she going to press the button? Okay. So, um, yeah, I forgot I could do that. Yeah. Let me just see, Andrew, if I can find... Uh, I can't do it personally. It's something that's actually really quite straightforward, but I'm sure I can find a way of um, creating a video um, for you to do that um, in the very near future. Okay. Um, the other thing that you can do on LinkedIn which I also have a video where I'll pop out, uh, I'll publish it. It's already there in my dashboard, so I'll make it go live. It's actually write an article as well. So if you are currently, let me just pull that one back up on the screen. Oh, I, she just swapped. We can, have you put a picture in there? Have you put a picture? Okay, right. Let me just see if I can get to see on my on my the streamer dashboard as I'm looking. I can't see, but let's see if I can get to my broadcast. So those of you that are in the chat now, you can see it. I can't uh, at the moment. So let's just see if I can get there and take a look in the chat. If you've posted a picture in there. Let's see, but let's see if I can get to my broadcast. And you're able to swap back. I don't have you put a picture in there, uh, Sheila? Those of you that are in the chat, now you can see it. I can't. Uh, okay. at the moment. Take a screenshot. Let's just see if, I can if you know how there. to do that. And hi, Jennifer. Who else is there? Da, 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 da. We've just got to a very exciting point. <laughs> For those of you joining now, we're all waiting to see. I'm going to switch that back over there and come out of the screen share. Um, there is a new button on Facebook. I'm going to I'm going to flip back to that now. So we have just been talking about uh, boot camp. What's coming up next week? If you want to join the Roller Three Boot Camp, I've asked everybody for suggestions on what they'd like to talk about next week. Because as well as doing the, the 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 training in the groups next week, I'm going to still try and do some social media support. So I need to know what it is you need to know next week, and start to put your questions in. But the interesting thing that's that's happened, although we're all on tenterhooks, because so far I haven't Sheila hasn't put a screen share in <laughs> and i want to know what it looks like okay so why am i getting excited there is the option to switch to the new facebook format i don't have it but i'm reliably informed and we now know it's true because sheila says she has the option down here there's the option to switch to the new facebook 
okay so i am holding off on doing any tutorial videos until i get to see this screen if at all possible i'm not sure how many of the buttons are going to change and move around but obviously the sentiment is still going to be the same that whatever you're posting on your business um okay so um sheila has said that um she she hasn't actually done it right so she hasn't pressed the button oh i see not sure what you think okay i understand now i thought Oh, Sheila was asking us, what did we think of the new look? So I got over excited then. Um, but she's actually asking advice, what do you think? Um, and Sarah said, oh, you know, are you able to swap back? I have absolutely no idea. So um, Sheila is uh, going to be our insider mole on this. OK, Sheila, the challenge, if you wish to accept it, is to press that button and come back tomorrow and tell us what you think what happened and in actual fact sheila let's do this if you're up for it you can come on screen and tell me and you will be actually able to share your screen live okay so if you fancy doing that tomorrow sheila you've been here every day this week so far really appreciate your support so if you want to um do that for us be the uh cybergran uh, investigator on the new Facebook layout, send me a message to the inbox and we'll sort out getting you on screen here tomorrow. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Accepted. Excellent. Excellent. Sheila has accepted the challenge, everybody. So share it with your friends. Okay. So tomorrow will be um, an exclusive. I don't know. I probably find that loads of you have got it now, but let's wait and Sheila will have her moment. Okay. I'm not going to look anymore to see if anybody's got it. We're gonna wait, okay. Oh, Sarah has it. Oh, I don't know. You see, now I'm in a dilemma. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks, Sue. I'm glad you're all on my wavelength here this morning. Those of you joining for the first time, um, this is Bianca Gatchbell Cybergrad. Um, and uh, we like to have a little bit of fun when it comes to social media and skill sets. You know, these little, these are the tiny little things that I, I find very interesting. Uh, okay. Um, Sarah's going to send me uh, the screenshot. Yeah, send it to the Facebook page inbox, Sarah. Okay. So um, I'm completely off track now. Somebody asked me a question to do with social media and I'll do my best to answer it because I'm all excited now. Um, I was just about to show you something. Oh, that was it on LinkedIn. I mean, we're, let's just try it. And uh, I was supposed to be talking about LinkedIn today, but I, I, as always, I'll go off on a tangent and it always comes back to Facebook. Um, yeah, LinkedIn articles. So um, these are going to be, right, the hangout place I, I do believe for those of you that are looking to find your inner writer uh i know it's a gauntlet isn't it sheila it's an absolute gauntlet maybe we ought should, what we should do first of all is we should run a poll <laughs> i'm taking it too far now right let me concentrate i've got two minutes left to actually give you something useful to talk about um, instead of all this silly nonsense with the new <laughs> Facebook layout. Okay, LinkedIn articles, really, really cool. Right, okay, click on that blue button and have a go. Just do it, what have you got to lose, right? Come through here and have a go at pressing some of these buttons. Now, one of the first things that I found confusing was how do I save it? What goes on here? Now, the note that you saw me talk about earlier about uh, a Facebook note, one of my favorite, favorite tools every year, I say this is my prediction that Facebook notes are going to be the way forward. So nobody's been listening to me banging that drum. Uh, I use them and I know lots of my cyber heroes do. But if nobody's going to listen to me about Facebook notes, maybe they'll listen to me about LinkedIn articles. This is really, really good now, and also notes are really, really good for you that those of you that maybe do not have a solid online presence, you've been a bit slow in getting your website sorted, you now realize that you need to be having more solid, stable information to go out there, because obviously, 
with your social media posting, you put the post out there, it goes into the news feed, and you have to rely on people coming back to actually look at the page specifically to see it all, all there. You know, that rarely, rarely happens, right? But if you can get people to come, come and see static information, because obviously something you said last week is all the way down your wall, but notes and articles are going to sit there forever and ever and ever. Okay, this is your evergreen content. So if you haven't had a go over the LinkedIn article, come over here. The first thing is, where do they save? Well, what happens is it's an auto save, right? So as you start to write, it automatically saves. Can you see there now that saved button popped up? All right. Then when you're done, what do you do, right? Well, if you come over here to my drafts, there is the untitled document that I'm working on. So you to come back to it, you click there. There's a video all about this, okay? So on, um, I'm gonna click on publish on it later on, and I will pop the link in here in the feed. So I've been chatting now for, 31 minutes. <laughs> Isn't that amazing how time flies? Aren't we all having fun? I've lost two people. I know that because the numbers have gone down on the screen. So do you have any more questions today um, about anything that we've talked about so far this week? Uh, I am lining up some pros, the people that were here yesterday about Instagram. I'm going to go and post in that thread. I wanted to make sure I got you the best person to speak to about Instagram and stories and also for Twitter and other things. People that are going to add a little bit more pizzazz okay as well and hear a different voice and see a different face okay because I know I'm sure you're all going to get fed up of me very very soon so I'm going to finish off in just a minute unless you've got any more questions I'll see you back here tomorrow at 9 30 um, directly from the page have a look all around my page and I'm going to pop the link to the rule of three and the other boot camps in here tomorrow tomorrow if you have a look in the event to do with this, you'll see the schedule in there. Uh, it says tomorrow's questions are ask me anything. So tomorrow's topic is kind of a, a roundup on any of the platforms that we've talked about. So we've talked about Facebook, Twitter, a little bit about Instagram um, and LinkedIn. Um, tomorrow you can ask me questions to do with social media on those or YouTube. Don't ask me. Let's just say the out of bounds because I don't know enough about them but I can find somebody who does in the near future it's for example like TikTok or Snapchat um, I need to go and find the nearest teenager to come and talk to you that about that uh, I as Sheila's now just saying she's now getting excited and wants to try it um, if you can't change it back so be it yeah it's going to be oh Sarah said you can change it back so obviously she's tried it um, but it's it's inevitable anyway. I think it's all going. We're all going to have it anyway. Um, so yeah, so go for it, go for it, and we'll report back tomorrow. So the talk tomorrow is ask me anything, and I'll um, and then obviously we're going to have Sheila on screen. Ah! <laughs> all right, guys, have a good day, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.